So the big difference with Alpine is that we've applied the ability to perform complex calculations with the power of the MPP databases themselves. So what you have is now the ability to perform predictive modeling, not just uh, data transformation and data preparation, but actually model building and model scoring directly in the database, leveraging the existing power of your data infrastructure, whether that's Oracle Exadata or Nateza, Greenplum, uh, or more traditional transactional databases like TB DB2, Oracle, Postgres. And so the key difference is that you do not anymore have to have a separate analytics infrastructure. You can take advantage of the place where your data sits, which is waiting for you to use it as a data platform, as an analytics platform, because it has all of this computational power. And we've sort of unlocked that power with Alpine. We've worked with data sources from all over the organization. These may be customer records, account records. We've worked with healthcare organizations where we've looked at patient records as a means of predicting patient outcomes. Uh, we've also gone beyond the accounts down to the individual transaction level. Those might be transactions from the website, uh, getting web log data, bringing that in through Hadoop, eventually aggregating that, relating it to the account data sitting in your Oracle system. Uh, or it may be transactions from a telco where you're looking at individual call records. So we can go all the way from the highest level weekly sales data down to individual customers, even down to individual customer transactions. And the importance then of being able to take all that data from wherever it sits within the enterprise and be able to leverage that in analytics without having to have these truckloads of data being shipped from one environment to another is another key differentiator for us. Many organizations really struggle with having disparate data sources that need to be brought together. Even with Alpine, where we're able to leverage your data platforms as a means of performing computation, you still have to get it into a centralized location, whether that's an analytic sandbox or your enterprise data warehouse or some other transactional system. And so for that, virtualization capabilities, such as composites, where you can actually have a virtual interface into all of your sources of data uh, are incredibly useful, not just for data scientists and business analysts, but also for organizations like Alpine. We don't solve the problem of how to reach out to all these different places in the organization to get data. Um, and that's where partnership with Composite is really valuable for us. I think that um, big data and predictive analytics are so hot right now, but they're so difficult to do in so many ways. People, I think, approach them with a sense of trepidation not really knowing where to start. Uh, and Alpine and technologies like Alpines can really help with that because they can make the whole process much more lightweight and they can provide an infrastructure that allows you to get up and running really quickly. But even so, there's institutional and human costs that need to be uh, dealt with. And so my recommendation would really be to find one compelling business problem where you know somewhere out there you have the data, but what you really need is then to apply the power of analytics to solve that problem. But just focus on one, and just focus on an area where you know you already have access to the right data. And assemble a small team, and don't try to come up with the perfect models uh, or the most comprehensive solution. Just focus on finding the most high value, rapid, agile solution to that particular business problem, something that can be constantly updated. So a sort of iterative approach, building up a solution over time in small increments with a small team. That would be my suggestion.